smoke. A lot of smoke directly in the impact. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have the last special release bottle from Diageo 2015 and thank you for the distributor for providing me that small sample. And uh, well the big bottle here on my cask is not the bottle of 2015. Um, there had been quite a few, only a few on the market, so that I have to dig back and take one of the older ones, uh, the earlier ones, and this one is from 2013. Um, yeah, I read the first time here on the label and they are selling, uh, saying, for selling, uh, the strange horse of Srinabal. Is this a book? Is this a tale? No idea. By William Black, so it must be a tale. I have been in Isla more than three times. I have H-E-F, so this is in Old English. In Isla, I-S-L-A, without the Y in the back. And this is how you pronounce Isla. You very, very often hear Isla and from time to time, I'm tending to say I lay also. Uh, this is the, the English influence in Scotland and uh, which, well, the Gaelic is on its move back. So there are only very few uh, people left in Scotland uh, who, which are able to, to speak Gaelic. So Isla is the right pronunciation, but on Isla, uh, all people say Isla. Yeah. I have been in Isla more than three times or two times no, myself. Three times or two times? Mm -hmm. He might have been too much of whiskey. And I have been close to the Lagavulin distillery and I know that is the clear wat water. Water. W A T T E R. Water. Of the spring that will make the Lagavulin whiskey just as fine as new milk. Oh, for babies or what? No, no milk. So we leave the 12 years old here. Have a look at the booklet I got from the distributor. And here, Lagavulin, 12 years old. An expressive, energetic and self-assured Lagavulin with a clean, fresh maritime aroma and a direct, full-on Isla flavor means pity. Classic, pleasantly relaxed and cleanly structured with a fine balance of cereal sweetness, appetizing sharpness and dry volcanic smoke. <laughs> There's no volcano on Isla for millions or billions of years. <clears throat> All adroitly, adroitly, never heard that word set off by citrus and mint. ABV 48.8%. So this is well below 50. This is less than the 2013 has. It has 55.1. A limited edition in natural cast strength. So the, uh, the cask bottled were mixed, more than one cask, but they hadn't added water for adjusting the, cast, the, the strength. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A limited edition, blah, blah, blah. Appearance, light gold, moderate, beating, light body. Light gold, yes. At first, fresh clean with soft malt, then rapidly developing maritime sense of sweet seaweed. Of sweet seaweed. I never had sweet seaweed. Typically, seaweed is salty. Yeah. Alongside a sharper, fruitier note with grainy cereals. Quite starchy, like boiled basmati rice. Then later vanilla sweet, like a sponge cake dusted with icing sugar. With time, the aromas open up, releasing spent match and a little menthol balanced by sugary fruits, lemon zest and gradually some distant smoke. Soft, fruity and minty with water. 
I will, will not dilute it. I will have it at 48.8. Palette, a smooth oily mouthfeel, surprisingly sweet, with coating licorice and a rising smoky pungency before the dryness of rich chocolate arrives with balancing salt and smoke. Water amplifies all these flavors. La, la, la. Finish, easy going, sweet and powerful smoky. First there are those smoothly coating tannins. Tannins after 12 years? Hmm? We will see. Then salt and smoke, spent matches, clean slabs and charred embers and a little orange oil. Yeah, and here you can see the spirits receiver and a man with a tie. In former times, production was held in suits and ties. Not blue color. <coughs> color workers. So it's quite light in color, and the um, <clears throat> the typical Lagavulin is is colored artificially. Even if it's not written on the bottle. Uh, it's only mandatory in several states in the European community, uh, among them Denmark and Germany. And in the rest of the European community and all over the world, uh, you do not have to write the coloring on the label. Uh, so uh, you find bottles with no statement of coloring on it, but you also find some with, bot uh, with coloring and all come from the same bottling lines. So it's just omitted where you do not have to show that there is an artificial coloring in a bottle. But the special releases are said are not colored. So this one should be original color. And 12 years old, quite light, so there is a lot of, of refill casks used and probably no sherry casks used. Uh, so this shall show the uh, distillery character of the whiskey quite clearly, of the distillery quite, quite clearly, yeah. Smoke, a lot of smoke directly in the impact. And at first I, th I thought about alcohol, it's cooling, but it's, it's, as they said it, it's this Menthol. No, not not this intense weird anise seed. No, it's it's menthol. And there's fruitiness, and a light young fruitiness. Perhaps this apple cake, but but I'm still missing the cereals and the the sweetness, which typically comes with a, an apple cake with a, with a topping on it. And the smoke is not too phenolic, it's more bonfire. Yeah, I'm missing the sweetness we talked about. Mm -hmm. Ah, I have to swallow. It's too intense on the tip of my tongue. Spices, more apples, a lot of smoke, and yes, in the end, some tannins. Yeah. Very faint, very little, just a, a hint of espresso. So this, not really bitter, no. So the tannins, yes, they are there, but not really disturbing. The apple is stronger now. Smoke overall. Mm -hmm. In 
my mouth, there's the sweetness. Yes. And as soon as you swallow the whiskey, the sweetness, ah, with the second sip still there, yes. Mm -hmm. Now it's becoming sweeter and sweeter. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this one is a real Lagavulin. The 16 years old is, well, that's a, a milestone. Very, very important whiskey. One of the cornerstones of whiskey production in Scotland. And this one is, well, stays well behind, even when it's one and a half times the price. So I would prefer the 16 years old, of course, and even more, I like the Lagavulin Distillers Edition. That is the sweet medicine of the sea. No, there's no medicine, alcohol is not good for your health, no. Just to make that clear. But it tastes as a cough syrup, yeah. <laughs> so I would prefer a Distillers Edition against this 12 years old. Definitely. But people try to or like stronger whiskies, more ABV, and this is the chance uh, that you can have a, well, more than 43% as the typical Lagavulin has. And uh, the older ones are the, the prior ones from vintage 2013. It has 55.1. <clears throat> so why this one had only 48.8, I have no idea how they selected the casks, uh, but uh, the bottles were very, were from the market very fast. So it, it just took a, a few weeks and then they were gone. Uh, no idea why, I think uh, they, are, they started to collect uh, the Lagavulin cast strength and uh, they were desperately seeking those bottles and so they are off the market. Uh, <clears throat> if you like Lagavulin, there are definitely from the distillery original bottlings, which in my personal opinion taste better than this one. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Feel free to add your comments to our vlog and have a look in our database where the older or the prior versions or bottlings of the Lagavulin 12 years old are definitely uh, on file.